Hello, today we are going to discuss about very interesting topic. The company called Open Interrupter just released a demo video of new AI agent. Basically, the agent named 01 Lite is a portable voice interface that controls your computer. It can see your screen, use your apps, and learn new skills. And it is it is an open source foundation that everyone can install and try it out from our end also. Let me quickly play this demo. For over a hundred years, humanity has imagined a computer that's as easy to interact with as a person. ChatGPT introduced the world to this technology and became the fastest growing consumer application of all time. Now, corporations around the world have started building closed source, artificially intelligent devices. Six weeks ago, we realized there was an opportunity to build an open source foundation, this next generation of computers, the Linux of this space, something open, flexible, and free an operating system with a language model at the center of it. I'm holding the first device powered by this operating system in my hand right now. It's called the O1. This is the O1 Lite, the first open source language model computer. You talk to it like a person, and it operates a computer to help you get things done. You can run the language model on your computer at home or in our server in the cloud, making the O1 Lite fully portable when connected to Wi-Fi or a hotspot. To use it, you just push, talk, and then it thinks and responds. Let me show you what you can do. When's the next sunny day? One moment. The next sunny day is on March 9th. Great. Am I doing anything on that day? Let me check your calendar. You have no events scheduled for March 9th. So because the O1 is operating my personal computer at home, I didn't need to set up my calendar. It can just use it. Nice. Can you see if there are any concerts in Seattle on that day? Yes, you have several options. Option one, Bad Bunny will be performing at the Climate Pledge Arena. That's perfect. Can you add that to my calendar and then copy and paste a link to the ticket into the calendar event? And then actually, if you could text page the link and say something like, hey, do you want to go to this? Concert is on your calendar and page has been texted. Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. By the way, you've just received an email from Mike asking about your progress on an article. Would you like to respond to it now? So I need to send that file to Mike, but it's on my computer at home. Hey, that article should be on my desktop. It's called the Universal Interface. There's a file titled the Universal Interface.pdf on your desktop. Do you want me to send it to Mike? Now, at this point, I could ask my light to read or even edit that document, but I'm just going to send it to Mike. Yes, please send it. The document has been emailed to Mike. Great. So you can kind of think of the O1 light as like a smart person that's in front of your computer. How could that be useful? Let's head back now and I'll show you something even bigger. This is my laptop and it's the one that the light has been operating. Out of the box, it's pretty good at using my computer, but it can't do everything. So let's teach it to use a desktop application that it's never seen. Hey, I wanna teach you something. Sounds good. What do you wanna teach me to do? I'm gonna show you how to send a Slack message. First, open Slack. It looks 
like Slack is open. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Great, what's next? Hit Command K. Done. Did I do that correctly? Yeah, that worked. Okay, now type out the name of the recipient, like, for example, Ty, then press Enter. Done. Let me know if I did that right. Yes, you did. Now I want you to click on the text box at the bottom that says Message Ty. I've clicked the text box. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Okay, now you can write the message. For example, hey Ty, then press enter. It looks like I've sent the message, is that right? Yes, and that's all there is to this skill, so you can save it now. Sure thing. I've just learned the skill send a Slack message. So you can do this with any workflow, any desktop application, or even a pipeline of applications and websites without setting up any authentication. It just uses your computer. But here's where it gets interesting. OK, now I want you to monitor my email. If you get any invoices, could you take a look at the attachments and then Slack all the relevant details to Mike? All right, I'll monitor your inbox for invoices. If I see one, I'll Slack the details to Mike. Now, days later, when I get an invoice, which I'll test just by emailing one to myself, it will slack it to Mike and let me know about it. I just sent a Slack message to Mike with the basic information of the invoice. That was the O1 Lite. You can pre-order one today for $99. And the one you get won't require a computer. You'll be able to use it as a standalone device that taps into our hosted service. But developers can get their hands on this right now. We are releasing the O1 Lite, the O1 Server, and the O1 OS developer previews today. The software, CAD files, wiring diagrams, everything you need to make an O1 light in an afternoon so you can build your own personal or commercial AI devices tomorrow. I want you to imagine a world with doctors that fit in your pocket, smart toys that talk and teach, companions, Pokédexes, and robots, all running in an open ecosystem with shared protocols and innovations the Cambrian explosion of AI devices. In the next few weeks, we're going to release an open source language model for computer control, an app for your phone, and a handheld device that runs fully offline. If you want to build this future together, talk to me and thousands of other energized developers in our rapidly growing O1 community. Let's accelerate together. I'll see you there. Wow, this is really, really amazing. AI device, I could say. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment what you think about this AI device. Please do subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you.